Hello viewers, this is Sridhar from Cellpip Academy with yet another video on Cellpip writing task 1 and task 2. Today we are going to see how to write task 1 and task 2 together within the stipulated time of 27 minutes and 26 minutes. Your city council is planning to pull down one of the historic buildings in your town because they do not have funds to renovate it. As a citizen, you do not want it to happen. Write a letter to the city council in your letter. Say what the import, what is the importance of the historic building. Mention why it should be renovated rather than pulled down. Suggest a plan to raise funds and maintain the building in the future. So it's a formal letter. We have to start by saying dear sir or madam because we do not know the people in city council or even in the higher up officials in the city council. So we do not know anybody. So we have to address because it's a formal letter by saying, dear sir or madam, I am writing with reference to your plans of demolishing the historic building due to lack of funds. So we have addressed the first thing first. Your city council is planning to pull down one of the historic buildings in town because they do not have funds to renovate it. Okay, I'm writing with reference to your plans of demolishing the historic building due to lack of funds. However, so as a citizen, you do not want it to happen. So renovation, what is the other thing that you can say for renovation? So it could be revamp, it could be repair, anything, okay? However, there can be ways to raise funds for its repair. And we can revamp the building. Out. Much entrance. So without any obstacles, we can raise fund is what is what I'm saying, trying to say here. Okay. Now what say what the what is the significance of having such historic building? So you can also name the building. If there is a building in your, like in Bangalore, we have uh, Vidhan Sauda in Chennai, there is a Ripon building. In Delhi, you have uh, the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Then you have in Bombay, uh, the Victoria uh, Terminal. So you can talk about any old, uh, such old um, uh, building that needs renovation because these are all historic buildings and they do have the... Uh, the marvel, like uh, these are all, uh, these were constructed by the Britishers and uh, they have done a marvelous job in constructing such uh, wonderful buildings. Anyway, so the, I can talk about Ripon building was constructed in the year of 1909 and it was gifted to Lord General Ripon by the then Vice Roy Minto Okay, the ribbon building was constructed in the year of 1909 and it was gifted to Lord General Ripon 
by the Viceroy Minto of the East India Company. Of it was okay, but uh, Lord uh, General Ripon was the general of the entire uh, fleet of army or the East India Company, you can say. But Viceroy Minto was just the Viceroy of Madras, but General Ripon was the uh, one whom to whom everybody was reporting to, anyway. So, I have a little bit of information, you can also have some information gather it from somewhere and start writing. Can you not give such information? Yes, you can generally write if you want to write without any information. You can simply write, uh, there is a building which was, you can talk about some building at least because otherwise you will not have information. Furthermore, the building has been standing there for over a century, so it should be considered a marvel which was in fact built by an Indian engineer. Even though I do not remember the name of the Indian engineer, I can always say furthermore, the building has been standing there for over a century. So it should be considered as a marvel, as a marvel, which was in fact built by an Indian, Indian engineer. Then what additionally? It additionally influx of tourists from the city of Madras from time to time to see the historic building. Okay, so additionally, influx of tourists throng the city of Madras from time to time to see the historic building. Then what? Anything else? So what else? Mention why it should be renovated rather than pulled down. Suggest a plan to raise the funds and maintain the building in the future. Okay, we have said all the importance of the building. Okay, now what the monumental building that has a long history should be reconsidered for renovation rather than pulling it down as the citizen of this country it is the duty of of me as a citizen. So suggest a plan to raise funds and maintain the building in the future. As the citizen of this country, I feel that every citizen will be obliged to come forward for funding 
okay, as the citizen of this country, I feel, okay, instead I can say I feel, I feel that every citizen will be obliged to come forward to do the funding for its revamping or remodeling or remodeling would be entirely changing the building. So we can say instead of renovation, we also used um, words like uh, repair, revamp. We can take out revamp from there and put it here in case. All right, so we can do this revamp the structure. I feel that every citizen will be obliged to come forward for the funding for its revamp. I feel that every citizen will be obliged to come forward for funding. So there is some kind of a sentence which needs to be looked upon to correct it. I feel that every citizen will be obliged to come forward for its for its funding to revamp the structure. All right, now it's correct. Then what? So we have mentioned every possible thing that could be added on to. Let me once again proofread the letter. Dear sir or madam, I'm writing with reference to your plans of demolishing the historical historic building due to lack of funds. However, there can be ways to raise funds for its repair. Uh, for its repair without much interest because we already mentioned the building up front. The Ripon building was constructed in the year of 1909 and it was gifted to Lord General Ripon of the East India Company by the then Viceroy Minto of Madras. Furthermore, the building has been standing there for over a century, so it should be considered as a marvel, which was in fact built by an Indian, Indian engineer. Additionally, influx of tourists thronged the city of Madras from time to time to see the historic building. The monumental building that has a long history should be reconsidered for renovation rather than pulling it down. I feel that every citizen will be obliged to come forward for its funding to revamp the structure. If there is enough probably city of its renovation, even multinational companies or organizations will be more than happy to generously come forward to fund it. All right. So I've mentioned even that if there is enough publicity of its renovation, even multinational organization will be more than happy, happy to generously come forward to fund it. Or we can just say to fund it. All right, now I have to count the number of words because we should not exceed 200 words. We can go up to maybe 10% of the 200, which is 220. So totally it comes to around 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, 135, 150. 
So it's anywhere about 165. Now, how do we conclude the letter? I hope this letter will will give you some insight into how these old historic site or building is an attraction rather than a burden or we can say just say attraction because that is not required i hope this letter will give you this letter will give you some insight into how these historic buildings historic building is an is an attraction Now, I request you to take my suggestion into consideration. Okay. So we can have it here. Nevertheless, I request you to take my suggestion into consideration because that is required. Otherwise, there is every possibility that they may not know the importance of such historic building. Anyway, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely. Sandy. All right. So we have crossed over 150 words, which is a good letter. And we also made sure that we crossed the 175, but we never exceeded the 200 limit. Another 10% can be added on. That is what I was told by the assessors of uh, the self test. tests. Anyway, so let us look at the task two. And let's deal with it. So task two, you have to spend about 26 minutes on this task, not 27. Let me change it once again. So it will go up to 120, 150, 200 words. I'm so sorry. Your city police department is conducting a survey to bring in revolutionary changes in the city's security system. The department has sent out an opinion survey to see what residents feel about the given option. Option A, security cameras in public places will reduce crime. Option B, these measures restrict our individual freedom. So I want to take one side, which is the option A, because I feel that the security cameras in public places will reduce the crime to a great extent. I will start this survey question either by saying to whom it may concern or just leave it at that. Directly, I will move on to the writing part. Although, although a few people are of the view that having a security camera in the public places, places will restrict the individual's freedom. However, I opine that the security 
cameras will diminish the crime that is taking place in our city frequently. Okay, so I've given the introduction. Although a few people are of the view that having a security camera in the public place, in public places, the in the public places, yeah, plural is accepted. That's when we use the in the public places will restrict the individual's freedom. However, I opine that the security cameras will diminish the crime that is taking place in our city frequently. Okay, then what? There. Our city, we can start with our city or we can say, why this is happening? Uh, the crime everywhere because uh, they feel they can go scot-free, the, uh, the uh, culprits. So we can talk about um, something related to the, to the population of the city which is growing and the uh, people who are uh, migrating from the rural to the urbanized area are not getting enough jobs because there is a lot of population. Everybody can't get a job. So uh, the... Uh, the uh, uh, you know the people who are left out without job uh, are uh, committing such uh, heinous crimes. We can talk about that. Growing number of population with lack of jobs are leading to such crimes taking or such crimes happening in our city. <clears throat> okay, so security cam cameras in public place will reduce crime is what they are saying. All right. So reduce is also diminished in other synonym. Uh, if you use another word which has got the same meaning, decrease is what I'm trying to say, reduce, decrease. The growing number of population with lack of jobs. Lack of jobs are leading to such crimes happening in our city. Okay. For instance, a girl was killed in the daylight by some criminals and the police personnel would have nailed them and given them or nail them by seeing the recordings. So for instance, a girl was killed in the daylight. In the nearby park by some criminals and the police personnel could have nailed them by seeing the recordings of the CCTV, or you can directly say by seeing the recordings of the camera footage. Moreover, the Culprits would have been given harsh punishment 
by giving justice to the victim's family. The entire episode and the the crime committed by the committed by such criminals, such people. Okay, what are we trying to say here? The entire episode and the crime committed by such people would have come to an end and will, will have been would have been solved by the police department on time. Okay, the entire episode and the crime committed by such people would have come to an end and would have been solved by the police department on time. Or we can just take out the one sentence would have been solved by the police department on time. So the entire episode and the crime committed by such people would have been solved by the police department on time. Then what? Furthermore, people living in urbanized city have to face a lot of muggers who are upsurging day by day and a security camera is certainly a boon to the individuals and society overall. So I have said what I want to say, want to say. For the more people living in urbanicity have to face a lot of muggers who are upsurging day by day and a security camera is certainly a boon to the individuals and society overall. So I have to see if I have written enough to, you know, to complete this survey question. Okay, I'll round it up to 15. 30, then 35 comes to about 40. 40 plus 15 would be 55, then 70. 75, 70 plus uh, 15 would be 85, plus 15 would be 100, 115, 130, 145. So we have crossed comfortably the 150 barrier, but we have to write little more. On the other hand, in order to get some revolutionary 
changes the police department have to install security or we can say CCTV in every crime, every hot crime spot, hot crime spot. This way, the, the people who are taking law in their in their own hands will think before committing any such keenness right in conclusion I will okay in conclusion any decision taken by the it's the police department right so taken by the city police department is uh, so sorry um, is a or will be a yeah welcome gesture according to the outcome of the survey because they they are taking a survey so so many people are going to uh, in fact give the opinion. So we'll have to also see that whether they are against the security cameras or they are for. So in conclusion, any decision taken by the city police department will be a welcome gesture according to the outcome of the survey. Then, nonetheless, I will less I feel that option A will be appropriate and needs and the cameras Needs to be installed with immediate effect. Okay, nonetheless, I feel that option A will be an appropriate, an appropriate thing. as the cameras needs to be installed with immediate effect. Okay, let's read it once again. Although a few people are of the view that having a security camera in the public places will restrict the individual's freedom. However, I opine that the security cameras will diminish the crime that is taking place in our city frequently. The growing number of population with lack of jobs are leading to such crimes happening in our city. For instance, a girl was killed in the daylight in the nearby park by some criminals and the police personnel could have nailed them by seeing the recordings of the camera footage. Moreover, the culprits could have been given harsh punishment by giving justice to the victim's family. We saw that in Delhi just before yesterday or day before, I do not know when, I forgot. A girl was found in the park. She was murdered. Moreover, the culprits could have been given harsh punishment by 
giving justice to the victim's family. The entire episode and the crime committed by such people would have been solved by the police department on time. Furthermore, people living in urbanized city have to face a lot of muggers who are who are upsurging day by day and the security camera is certainly a boon to the individuals and society overall. In curbing any crime. On the other hand, in order to get some revolutionary changes, the police department have to install to install CCTV in every hot crime spot. This way, the people who are taking law in their own hands will think before committing any such heinous crime. In conclusion, any decision taken by the city police department will be a welcome gesture, will be a welcome gesture according to the outcome of the survey. Nonetheless, I feel that option A will be an appropriate thing as the cameras needs to be installed with immediate effect. All right. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please do subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Do not forget to comment below so that I can come up with more such videos in the future. See you on the other side.